How could you? As I perceived uh, his attachment to her to be far deeper than hers to his, I believed her to be indifferent. Indifferent? She's gone! to me many months ago. Wickham's misfortunes have been very great indeed. If I may so express it, he has a right to be proud. Oh! I could easily forgive his pride if he had not mortified mine. Pride is a very common failing, I believe. Vanity and pride are different things, so the words are often used synonymously. A person may be proud without being vain. Oh! Pride relates more to our opinion of ourselves. Vanity to what we would have others think of us. Ah! He saved you from a zombie. Mrs. Featherstone was quite civilized. Yield! <laughs> Never! <laughs> she was a zombie, Lizzie. Thank goodness he was there. <sighs> at the ball. Yes, I thought it would have been selfish of me to seek an encounter with Darcy. Mr. Wickham! You vanished at the ball. Yes, I, I thought it would have been selfish of me to seek an encounter with Darcy. It would have ruined the ball for anyone who witnessed it. Ending the struggle between the living and the undead. We must forge some kind of understanding with the most advanced among them. Surely the crown will support such a venture. <laughs> Shh, you're quite rude. Shh. You just cried out with a loud voice. Lazarus, come out. Happy are those who are called.
You're dancing with the most handsome one here. There is one of her sisters who is also very pretty. Dare I say, very agreeable. Which one do you mean? Well, she's tolerable, but not handsome enough to tempt me. Nor any other man here, apparently. Stop there, thank you. I narrowly saved her life. From Mrs. Featherstone? From an undead Mrs. Featherstone. I narrowly saved her life. From Mrs. Featherstone? What happened, Lizzie? I narrowly saved her life. From a Mrs. Featherstone? From an undead Mrs. Featherstone. Well, I found her to be exceedingly tolerable. Well done, Darcy.
or I'm dead. I've come to... Shh. I've come to tell you something. Mrs. Featherston. From an undead, Mrs. Featherston. I found her to be exceedingly tolerable. And he picks him up over his shoulder, scuds up the steps, and it's, it's and you backed away like this. So we get it. You hear up to him now cool. with the bit about. You're um, you're you're sorry. Good. 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 And action. Hey guys, what did you think of that horror video? Now don't click out, as I have a scary fact from the horror Child's Play. Did you know that the movie was inspired by a real event? Well, in 1909, Key West painter and author Robert Eugene Otto claimed that one of his family's servants placed a voodoo curse on his childhood toy, Robert the Doll. Supposedly, the doll would mysteriously move from room to room, knock furniture over, and conduct conversations with Otto. Robert the doll was left in the attic until Otto's death in 1974, when new owners moved into his Florida home. The new family also claimed mysterious activities would happen in the house connected to the doll. Today, Robert the doll is on display uh, at the Custom House and Old Post Office in Key West, Florida. Hmm. What's your favorite horror movie? Let me know in the comments below and remind you that we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Ciao, ciao!